<laughs> Here we go with this, man. Guess who's back? You know what it is. Cutting Line Podcast, Episode 2. I'm Pisces, and that's the Barber Son. What's going on? What up? Man, <laughs> you tell me. You the one in the shop. I ain't in the shop no more. Man. You got to let me know what the word is on the street. It's a lot of word on the street. You hear it too. <laughs> yeah, I know I know what's real hot, you know, on the street, social media, was that uh that pastor. Oh. <laughs> you, heard, you heard about that? I, I ain't going to say I did, but I did. I did, but I ain't never like, I ain't going to lie. I tried to find out what was going on. Like, I, I, all I heard was he was just eating some box or something. Right. That's exactly what was going on. <laughs> exactly what was going on. The man, <laughs> what happened was it was a, uh, uh, one of the, one of the members, one of the members of his church, he promised, he promised the lady, a uh, uh, a lead position or some type of position in the choir. Whoa. That's how he. You know what I'm saying? That's how he slid up on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's you know that that was probably some pastor game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this how he that's how he pulled her or whatever. You know he told her she can you know she can get a position in the choir. He reneged on this promise, and uh, you know, she dropped the video on him. She was salty. Yeah, I knew in the in it as soon as I heard it, I knew it was some type of. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, blackmail or mm-hmm. something. I knew it was something like that just for somebody to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, all it took was, you know what I mean, uh, um, position in the choir, and he was able to, you know, eat all the box he want. You know That's what I'm saying? crazy. Yeah, and the man married. What? Yeah, the man, the man married with children. That's crazy. Yeah, so imagine... You know what I'm saying? How embarrassing that is. He ain't going to never. Didn't he make a video, though, on Twitter? And he was talking like, I don't give a fuck what y'all saying. And I am the deacon. Wasn't that him? No, I don't know. You ain't see that? No, I ain't see that. I, it was They had a deacon. Uh, I don't know if it was, it was a dude with the little, all I remember is them grays. Yeah. You know, I, he got that gray little hair on his head and his face. I don't know. It could have. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so, though. I'm not sure. I know. Uh, I don't even remember dude's name, but he a pastor. I think the pastor, a pastor and the deacon, they different. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? They but, don't trust him no more. Man, I don't know. We'll see how long he keep his congregation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They the con. I think the congregation they probably forgive him before his wife will. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know he. You know, just imagine. I don't know how old his children are, but just imagine. You know what I'm saying? The embarrassment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he ain't gonna never be able to lay that down. It's a lot of that going on. That's crazy because we talking about the shop. That's funny because uh, Carla, the owner at the shop, yeah, she was just telling me that a, 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 a pastor at a church that she was growing up in as a kid just got popped for uh, having sex with a 17-year-old, but the 17-year-old put it out there because he wasn't uh, leaving his wife. Yeah. And that's crazy because she just told me this story on Saturday. And she was saying that how uh, Leo Leo always never liked it. Because dude used to call her all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not surprised. That's you know what how I'm they get they've been doing, Yeah, they've been doing that forever. Just like the, what was that? I don't know if it was at Vernon Hills. It was somewhere around us. But they was like, it was a 400 clergyman. Did you hear about that? 400? Yeah. Got popped. 400. When? This was like, this was a little while ago. I think it was probably like four months ago. Oh, I think you talking about Carmel. Was that it? Yeah, I think, uh, maybe. And it was, for, it was, it was. It's I know in Libertyville. It was, was it? I know it was somewhere. I think so. It wasn't too far. I'm not sure though. Don't quote yeah. me on that. But I remember something uh, not too long ago. Cause we was going to uh, to the basketball game over there. Yeah. At uh at Carmel, and you know, the church right across the church is across the street from Carmel, 
but Carmel is a Catholic school. Yeah, it's a Catholic school, and that's the Catholic church. And I think those are the, uh, I don't know if it was 400. Yeah. I don't even know if they got that many, but something happened with them too. That's probably what you're talking about. Maybe. Yeah. Nah, I know this was for sure 400 clergy. Man. That's what I know for a fact, because I was talking about that in the shop that day when it happened, because we had that, but that had popped up, and I was talking to people about how they be manipulating the kids. You know what I'm saying? Well, Usually. they got oh, they was pedophiles. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. That's usually what they. Yeah, what, that's yeah, what they be getting down. Them. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but the old the old pastor, this dude was on Facebook, <laughs> on well, all the social media. You know what I'm saying? Going ham, man. <laughs> old girl did him in. Yeah, but look, is she recording them? Is that how yeah, it is? Yes, yeah, I think so. I just seen I seen a picture, and on, it looked like it looked, That's what it looked like she was doing. Yeah, somebody had the camera. He ain't have it. Yeah, he, he knew was what too was busy going eating on. butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, ain't even, he ain't even come up to look at the camera. He, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had butt all up in his face. Oh, so my he wasn't God. even on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they've been going in on the man. The late. choir spot must be big. Man. That must be real big. She's salty. Man, I don't. That, <laughs> it, that still ain't nothing. That's all it took is a promise for you. You know what I'm saying? To be in the choir to get you to bust down. You For know real. what I'm saying? Come on. That's what I'm saying. And like, the man, the man married. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's all it took. I mean, That's it crazy. is what it is. That, Should that he had just told the truth? What? Kept it 100 with old girl? That what? <laughs> she wasn't getting in the choir? That he wasn't going... Well, yeah, like what did he, that's what he did. He didn't, yeah, he told her he told her she can give us get a slot in the oh, car. Oh, see, I'm confusing myself. See, I'm starting to think about. I'm thinking about the other one I just told you. No, nah. with the wife. Because I'm thinking she got mad because of the wife. But yeah, he's right. I forgot. Well, she, yeah, he did yeah she probably was mad because of the wife too. They always mad because of the wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If you got, you know what I'm saying. If you married or you got a woman, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know the side piece. You know what I'm saying? They always mad about mm-hmm. the wife. You know what I'm saying? They always waiting on a minute, you know what I'm saying, to blow up the spot. Tired of waiting on you to call them on the low. Yeah, that's how I go. You <laughs> you answer the phone when, <laughs> when you're with her? <laughs> no. How I go? You answer the phone. When you with me from yeah, her. Yeah, when you with me from her. Yeah. But you don't answer the phone. <laughs> when you with her and I cup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Super salty. Uh huh. Yeah. How you know how I go? Yeah, it just makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. It just makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but that's how I go. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's crazy. So, what else been cracking at the shop? Man, I know. I don't know, man. I know it's just been a little. I got a little subject that I like to throw out there. You gotta, you gotta. I mean, you got to get these people the barber game. Yeah. It's a lot of people that's going to be tuning in, upcoming barbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Barbers that's, you know what I'm saying, been barbers for a while, but, you know, don't really know what it, you know, what it really means to be a barber and, yeah. you know, the proper etiquette, the do's and the don'ts. You know what I'm saying? That's what this podcast is about. You got to. Yeah. You know, you in the shop, I ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, you got to put them up and let them know how, how it's going down and how it should be. Yeah, one of the one things that's been on lately, though, is we need to stop with this gossip with the, with the, with the males, with the, with the barbers gossiping about whatever. You know what I'm saying? Either if it's about other barbers or it's about people in their family or whatever, people business, they need to stop that. That ain't, it's a difference between gossiping and having shop talk, you know what I mean? Men don't gossip. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these dudes, I've been noticing, they do that. They be telling everybody business. Telling everybody business. Sugarcoating. Then when the person come around, I don't like that. They act like they wasn't just talking about yeah. it. Or they yeah. know, or they see, or they might see uh, another guy come in the shop. Yeah. With they girl. Yeah. Or then as soon as they leave, man, she was man, she talked mm-hmm. to dude or mm-hmm. oh dude just slid over there. Mm-hmm. Hey, or oh, oh, talk to the bar. Man, weren't you just over there last yeah. night, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After they done left. Yeah. But you sitting there smiling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All in the man's face. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know what you're saying. But I don't know if they you know, that's kinda like I don't know, that's asking a lot. 
Yeah. To ask them, they shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? They should have you know proper etiquette, but you but know you know we gotta how that we go. gotta we gotta stop it though. Because if if it's happening in the shop we in, you gotta stop. It. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you stop it and you let it be known that it's weak, right? You know that could help spread the word through the other shops. You right. Know? Well, at least they know they can't do that at at, at the at the shop. Exactly. That you in, and you gotta make them feel like, hey man, that's weak. Yeah, like you said, sitting up here. Uh, talking about these people behind their back, and you cut this man hair, and you trying to holler at this girl, exactly, and this and that, exactly, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, man, these dudes definitely. You got some dudes that be too far out of pocket in the shop, and they not doing things. You know what I'm saying? That, in my opinion, that uh, a man should do. They acting like women in there. Yeah, and on that, you know, bringing. To the shop what happened at the house right you know what i'm saying you could see i see that a lot like you could tell when something went down especially when dude come in and they just instantly go in on their girl mm-hmm. and like you like wait a minute bro go in on her where when she at, she at when just she about come her. to the shop oh, just yeah, about yeah, yeah. her you know what i'm saying and then because because and the reason why i say that is because you know how that go because at the end of the day that's your woman so if i give you that real advice that i'm feeling what you saying because you mad i might make you mad Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you ain't really like I don't know. That's just that's just a, I don't think you should do that. You shouldn't come. You shouldn't bring your the house to the shop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, I notice a lot of dudes do that when they trying to stunt in front of a female though. Mm-hmm. That's when they mainly be they be trying to show out in front of the women though. That's where I be seeing that a lot. Yeah, well you can't sh- you can't show out in front of a woman bashing a woman. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you that's playing it. yourself exactly because she looking like nigga. What? Yeah, you really playing yourself, but. You know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't talk about your woman nowhere yeah. to nobody, especially around, you know what I'm saying, other men. Exactly. Because we already know how that go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They going to be the main one, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, when they see something going on, you know what I'm saying, in y'all relationship, you know, especially they see your girl, she nice looking or whatever, mm-hmm. they going to be the main one sliding up on her, you know yep. what I'm saying? Uh, hey, you know, uh, the barber's son <laughs> was cutting old girl's son hair, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, he got a number, you know, yeah. some hating ass yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? So anything, uh-huh. anything that has anything to do with a woman, you sh- you shouldn't have, you know, shouldn't another man shouldn't be in your business, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Especially nowadays, because these niggas, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, social media. Social media. Everybody get a hold of your girl like that. Man, and they just, they raise like little girls now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They act like little little females. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got these little female tendencies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, they it's okay to do that kind of shit now, mm-hmm. I guess. You know what I'm saying? So, you really, you know, at the shop, at the grocery store, your homie, yeah. there ain't nobody business. Yeah. That's how you really supposed to care yeah, but we yeah. Uh, that is a good thing to, you know, to put out there that, uh, hey, man, stop all that hate For when real. you in the shop. Because we all men. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cut it out. We all men. Cut it out. Ain't no women in there. And if they is in there, they be a different type of woman. Right. They understand they around men. Yeah, but they... Uh, you know, that's crazy, too. The you female barbers? Yeah. Yeah. It is, because it's cause like all they the guys be trying, They trying to hide. On, yeah. They trying to holler at the female barber. They do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, that bring another perspective to the shop, too. You know what I'm saying? The female barber. I don't, mm-hmm. even, I don't think I ever... I never worked with a female barber. I worked with stylists. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they used to get on my nerves. But I never... You know what I'm saying? A female barber... I never really worked with a female barber, but I worked with stylists. And there's, I'd, I'd rather just be in the shop with men. Yeah, me too. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna even lie to you. Yeah, because women, they too sensitive. Anyway, but anyway, let's get on with the kids, though. With the kids in the shop. Like, people don't understand the importance of not having kids in the shop that's not getting a haircut. Right. Like, people take that, like when you say, oh, don't let them touch that on the chair or don't let them grab that or can you get your kids like you just being mean right? when you just trying to... Right. So if they not getting service, they shouldn't be in the they shop. They shouldn't be in there. Yeah, that's a rule that I had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And people used to... They used to... uh, 
dislike me for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the way I looked at it, you know, the shop was nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had glass in there. You know, we got statues. Yeah, stuff that can be broken. Paintings, yeah. nice tables. Right. So it was hard for me to deal with, you know what I'm saying? You know, somebody breaking it, you know, versus me telling somebody, hey, you exactly. can't bring your son, you can't bring your daughter in here unless they get in service. Yeah. But a lot of people get offended. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I had a lot of people leave and didn't come back. You know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't, you know what I'm saying, have their children in there running around, you know? Yeah. But then you got barbers, too. That's exactly what I was going to say Yeah, next. you got barbers that yeah. just think, you know what I'm saying, that this is a daycare. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They want to bring their kids up there and let their kids sit around and stuff like that. That's kind of like, I don't know, that's kind of like the... Uh, I guess you could say that come with the territory a little bit mm -hmm. because barbers and stylists, they automatically assume that it's okay, you know what I'm saying, to bring their kids up there when it's not. This yeah. is this is still work, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This is still a business, you know what I mean? You can't take your children, you know what I'm saying, to work with you in any other business exactly. if you work in a nine to five. So you got to respect my business the same way mm -hmm. and don't just think you can bring your kids up in here you know what I'm saying? And sit around all day and playing and eating and got mm -hmm. food and, you know what I'm Burning saying? all across the... Yeah. I, like, that's one thing I'm telling you I can't take. Like, it's hard for me to take that because I know I had... I was in the shop and one of the, one of the barbers brought their son up there, you know, which was cool. You know what I'm saying? But you could tell this is a little, real hyper little dude. You know what I mean? So he taking the chair with the wheels on it and he flying across... Pass all the barbers this way, then he going pass all the barbers that way. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey, you can't be doing that. You know what I mean? He looking at me crazy, and then you know the first thing he do is he gonna look over at his dad. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I hope he gonna understand what's going on and handle that, cause that's not my place. That's his child. You right. know what I'm saying? So then they don't do nothing. So then he go and do it again. Then he like, hey man, he tell him whatever he told him, don't do that. So he don't do it. He come back. And he doing it even harder. But I felt like later, like, he looked at like I was trying to treat his son. So he went and whispered in his son's ear, like, don't listen to that nigga. Did he you say know? that? I don't know. But the way that hole went down, I could tell. Because then, like, I don't know. It was just weird. Because after that, the little nigga looking at me, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't got to listen to Like, you. yeah, like, yeah, look at me. And he grabbed a chair. Yeah, it was sat doing Sat in it. front of me. Yeah, doing it even more. I'm like, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking like, dude. Yeah. And in that case, I'm like, if I'm going to get mad, I might as well whoop your dad, but it ain't that serious. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm already knowing if you try to get mad at my son and you talk crazy to my kids, I'm going to have something to say. Anybody else is going to do that too. Right. You know what I mean? Well, that's why you're supposed to check your child in the beginning. Exactly. BC, that's you, what you I try to have them do for me. Yeah. You, you check your mean? own son so nobody else don't have to. Exactly. Because you will get offended. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If somebody say something to your child. That's why... It's important, you know what I'm saying, you teach your child, you know what I'm saying, how to act when they yeah. go, you know, wherever they're going. Because if somebody do say something, you're going to have a problem with it. And he probably did say that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because I know when he came back, though, the little dude came back a few times after that, you know what I mean? And I can already feel tension. I'm having tension with a little kid, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at it like, and I, I already been through this before. I done seen this happen, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I'm looking at it like. So every chance I got with the little boy, I'm like, what's up? Like, cause he said something to me, like, and I'm like, I was like, what you say to me? I was like, come here. What you just say? He was like, oh no, I was just saying hi. I'm like, oh, okay. So what I just, he said something in Spanish? I don't know. No, nah, I don't think he said something in Spanish. He said like, like, like if he was to say hi or something, it was like, I don't know. Like, like what you going to do? Mm -hmm. Like, what's up? I'm over here. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Like he was being a little, 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 little. You know what I mean? He being was trying bad. to act like a little chump. How old is he? I think he like nine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I already done been in this situation. So then I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm like, what's up, man? You know? Try to shake his little hand. How you doing? All right, little man. See you later. And I'm trying to, cause I don't want to have no tension with no child. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You shouldn't have to. Exactly. Especially but then I noticed after that. Yeah. But after that though, he ain't been at the shop. Good. You know what I mean? Which is definitely a blessing for me. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, every time I saw him, I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
It's just them. I don't know, man. And he ain't even that bad of a kid. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He but just he probably is. Yeah. <laughs> if he up there, yeah. you know what I'm saying, acting like that, he probably is bad. Yeah. He probably worse than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's the parents' responsibility. You know what I'm saying to check their child, and that's what they should do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, a lot of times people don't. And that will cause, you know what I'm saying, a problem. Do you know the dad always gotta be the dad? You can't yeah. you can't make the the dad can't look like Yeah, well you just gotta you know go you gotta go to the shop owner, you know what I'm saying, and have her post signs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No children allowed yeah. unless being serviced. Because I'm I'll be I'm I'm telling you, that's the one thing. I, if once somebody look kid break my stuff. Yeah. You already know how that goes. Yeah, it's a it's problem. It's gonna be a problem. Like I'm yeah. gonna have to pay for it immediately for myself, and then I'm gonna have to wait for you. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be right. Just leave. Let me break my own stuff. Hey, so was this dude a barber or he was a customer? This is a this a barber. Yeah. Well, then you know, yeah. Have a sit down with the owner. Hey, barbers need to understand that they can't bring their children up here. Yeah. This is not a daycare. You know what I'm saying? If something gets broken. They're not gonna want to be responsible for it. Yeah. Period. That's how you gotta do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But because if it was my shop, it'd have been handled a whole new different way. Oh yeah. And we it had been we had nipped. and we had a situation like that too. We had a uh, we had a situation like that <coughs> at my shop, and we lost a barber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that. Exactly. Yeah, because exactly. Uh, the same situation. You know what I'm saying? He, he had his son. In the shop, I told him that you know no children was allowed up there because that's it irritates me too. But at the same time, I don't want nothing getting tore up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't think that's a you know that's the that's not a a comfortable work environment anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I had that rule for years when I first. That was like one of the first rules I had. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you know. uh the, the man, you know, he got offended and it, it got out of hand. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And temperatures, you know, tempers was flaring. And, uh, yeah, we, you know, we lost a barber at the shop yeah, because of that exact situation. You know what's so crazy about that situation, though? That The, the crazy part about it is how you went through all that and, you know. Oh, I already know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lost the, we lost the man in the shop. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I already know. We ain't gonna talk yeah. about nobody business. Yeah. But I already know. I already know yeah. though. Yeah. But look, <laughs> on another note, now that we talking about barbers and stuff like that, working with, you know, people. One thing that's like super funny, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you dealing with uh when you dealing with barbers and stuff in the shop, we had another barber. You know what I'm saying? But when women come in the shop, <laughs> barbers act completely different. Way different. You know what I'm saying? When women come in the shop, either they going to, a, a couple things going to happen. Now, if a woman come in the shop and she decent, you know what I'm saying? She got a son, she got a son with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if it's another, if her son is getting their hair cut, by another barber, you know, the barbers is kind of certain, you know, if certain barbers is cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They like, okay, cool. They just sit back, you know what I'm saying? They might check her out, mm-hmm. whatever. Another scenario, she come in and she bring herself over there to you. And she like, uh, can you cut my son hair? Nah, depending on the type <laughs> of person you are, depending on how good of a barber you are, you might just bust out and sweat. <laughs> yeah, for real. I done seen, I done seen that happen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Dude, the, the woman come over there, hey, can you cut my son? Yeah, yeah, I got him. Instantly pouring. Next thing you know, it take you an hour. Man. You know what I'm saying? You nervous. You know what I'm saying? And everything. You trying to yeah. cut this little boy here. You trying to make sure it's perfect. And when you do that, you are you gonna jag it just cause you nervous anyway. Mm-hmm. You gonna jag it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then you got the dude that be trying to that show off. You know what I'm saying? When the women come in the shop, get loud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Walk up and down the shop, dancing. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
anything they can do. You know, <laughs> talk about all the money they make. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was in the the Cadillac yesterday and <laughs> I went and spent six thousand on I bought my girl because I keep my girls decent. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that you got you got that dude too, so yeah, that's that's hilarious, you know what that's I'm saying? That's the shop show out. Yeah, that's the shop. They either showing out or they super nervous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sweating, you know what I'm saying? Or it's they regular, you know what I'm saying, and they they cool. You know I what heard saying? a story though. That's funny you said that too, because look, I heard a story about some dudes. It's these two dudes at my the shop I'm at now though. They was at another shop. And I guess uh one of the barbers had a decent little client, like a little female that brought her son up there. But then one of the other barbers, I guess he didn't try to like shoot at her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Behind closed doors or something. So, you know, it was like a little tension when she come in. But the barber who cutting the son's hair, she didn't come for him. She went for the dude who that was shooting at that her. That was shooting at her. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So now she in the in going over there. But but the other but the other dude, he salty. And so he yell out, Hey bro, don't you got a wife? Oh, hard on them though. <laughs> and I guess they almost man. started fighting instantly. <laughs> instantly. Don't you got a wife, bro? <laughs> That's crazy. That's that too. That jealousy, man. Hating. Jealousy and hate. Hating. But he ain't even uh, he ain't even have to do that. She probably already knew. Already probably knew. She probably already knew. But I, I can almost at least eighty percent of the time. She went over there to this dude to cut her son hair because he's shooting at her. Yeah. And she want that free cut. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's Trying to see how far she can get it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. She, you know what I'm saying? The discount, she getting mm-hmm. it cut for $5. You know what I'm saying now? <laughs> you know, the cut 15 Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She getting it cut for $5. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's probably the only reason. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, Majority of the time, yeah. you know what I'm saying. If even if you know, even if that ain't the intentions in the beginning, you know what I'm saying. Even if the guy end up, you know, hollering at her and they chilling, you know what I'm saying. They go out a couple times or whatever. That's what it's going. That's what it's going to boil down to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So any, you know, she trying to get that free cut. Yeah. She trying to get that discount. You know what I'm saying. She ain't going to wanna. You can't be. You know what I'm saying. Being like the pastor, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> licking the butt, you know what I'm saying, and she paying for the haircut at the same time. She ain't Wait, going. Wait, he was eating butt? Same thing. Oh, I was finna say, bro. I'm, I'm just saying. I yeah, thought, no, I ain't know. But I'm just saying, you can't, that's not finna happen. She yeah. ain't finna, like, she looking at you like, nigga. <laughs> you gonna make you me mean? pay for this? Yeah. Well, after what, what I did? It. Right. Like, so you plan yourself. <laughs> You know That's why you don't mix business with pleasure. Man, you don't holler at the women. You that can't time. do it. And I ain't even going to lie to you. I done had a few of them that was decent. Yeah. And I couldn't do it because I already know. Yeah, I'm that's trying what, to get my bread. Yeah, that, they gonna, that's how they coming. You know what I'm saying? She might be spending money every week with you. Because I had one that I had before I was cutting. And then I introduced the cutting. And, you know, she, had, she was supporting me like, yeah, you doing good. Mm-hmm. The first time I cut, I'm like, man, I'm like. I'm thinking in my head, like, I can't charge her in my head. It just didn't feel right. And she like, oh, don't worry about it. Every time I got you. The next thing you know, she looked at me crazy when I'm like, like, let me get you said it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And I really want this money. You know yeah. what I mean? I just started cutting hair. I'm trying to build. I really want that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you started to get better. Ex- exactly. But then she I realized. She paying for the bogus cut. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And she was supporting me when I was tearing when them up. Was, yeah, when you was you was just starting out. Yeah. Then as you got good. Yeah. Uh, you, she like. You finna pay? I'm finna. You, you charging exactly. me for that? Uh, yeah. I definitely. And am. I ain't got no car. She don't even want to take me to the shop. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she'll, yeah, but look, she'll, but this is the cold part though. She that's what she used to do to get me because she knew how much I wanted to be in the shop. So I'm like, man, I'm trying to figure out how I get to the shop. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, don't worry, I'll come get you. All right, bet. She'll come get me. And then once she pulled into the shop, I don't understand why I have to always just come to your house 
and then drop you off at the shop and that's it and you don't spend no time with me mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm like what yeah she was on something come else. on man <laughs> she was trying to use that haircut to get to yeah you. for she real was trying to use taking you to the shop <laughs> You know she used saying? the shop on me. Yeah, that's what she was on. Yeah, because she lived down the street from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wanted yeah. The, yeah, she wanted. That ain't all she wanted for free. Nah. You know what I mean? With them haircuts. That ain't, <laughs> for real. She was on a whole lot more than that. That's why you can't mix that, man. You nah. can't do it. Nah. You can't do it. It don't work. I don't care who it is. It don't work. Nah, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. You know, don't, you know, don't have a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because then she come to the shop. Yeah. She's sitting at the shop, and then the girl who you you know who like you who you cutting for five dollars now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come in the shop with her baby, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the girlfriend gonna sense that automatically, instantly. What's going on? Oh, so you charging her five dollars? Mm -hmm. Why she? Why you charging her five? Like you gonna be? Like, oh well, no, she had the coupon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That we put out <laughs> with the referral, you know what I'm saying, and that's the only reason. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got, <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's a bad look all the way yeah. around the board. It's a bad look, and that 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 the same thing too, but on a different level too. With like, like, like for instance, like when people be smoking weed. Mm -hmm. Or being high, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, or smelling like weed in the shop. This the shop smell like weed. Mm -hmm. You know, you could lose a lot of customers, and you could lose a lot of of, of everything because of that. Right. You yeah. Know what that's I'm just not you can the... break your stuff. Right. Yeah. Knocking the man hairline off, he ain't coming back. Oh uh, yeah, that's we used to call that. We used to call that that uh that first one of the day. You know, what the I'm first saying? one of the day. Yeah. We, when you high, and yeah. you're trying to cut somebody hair high. It's like the first cut of the day. You ain't warmed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The first cut ain't gonna. You know. I think it might be worse than that. Yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> it's worse than that. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> but especially when you re when you realize you done messed up something that you can't get back, man. And you looking like, oh, this, or you going over that line and over and over. Yeah, and the man, you, you just corner. start to see that that skin, that little nick just, just go start from growing, just getting oh, big yeah. and get long. You know what I'm saying? You like, oh, yeah. man, I done told, let me hurry up and just get him out the yeah. chair. Put that little uh, the sea breeze on that neck. <laughs> <laughs> you like, oh yeah. You try to hit him with some oil, oh, shit, anything you can. Rub the grease on uh, him, you know what I'm saying, to get his mind. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then he, you see him on the street. That man got a look, scab got look a like stitches. <laughs> <laughs> space, 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 space across. That's what I'm across saying, across man. Head. Some of these dudes be thinking, cause look, cause they be, cause they be in the zone. Cause you know when people when they smoke weed or when they drinking you in that zone you feeling good, that ain't the same from cutting like you ain't nah. going you just cause you feeling good don't mean you finna. Nah, I done heard dudes be like, man, when I'm when I'm high though, nah, nigga, is you crazy? Nah, you gotta be able to concentrate. Exactly, you, you can't you thinking too much when you yeah. high you got too much going yeah, on. You ain't concentrate and you overthinking. You gonna sit there? Yeah, cutting high that's definitely not a good look. Cause uh, yeah, but you know, people do think that they you know just getting high. Period. You think you 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 doing, you know, you really coming up with the you know what I'm saying the best idea. You got the you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know the coldest thoughts. You like yeah, you know you you thinking you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So when you cutting, you know what I'm saying. You might already had that fade. Like it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or you might already have that lining, like it's supposed to be. But just like when you thinking, when you get high, you overthinking. Mm -hmm. So when you cutting, you see what I'm saying? It's the same way, you know what I'm saying? You got it, but now you going too far, and that's how that lining go back for, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or that fade come up a little higher, and then mm -hmm. now you got it. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, you definitely gotta uh have a clear mind. I don't see how dudes. Now I, I can understand how people cut high, but cutting drunk? Oh yeah, that really. I don't, don't even make know. Sense. I don't even know how they do that. You can't even see. You gotta be. You gotta be good, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think nobody that good. No, uh, Royal is that good. <laughs> this dude. This dude. He the only barber I ever seen. 
You see what I'm saying? Be gone. Man, this man be toe up, cutting. Everybody know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it ain't like I'm saying something that don't nobody yeah. know. But yeah, the man, he that good. Yeah, you know shout out to Roy. Though. Yeah, shout out to Roy. This nigga be toe up. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? But he'll lace you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If he ain't even... He ain't good if he ain't. Yeah. If he That's ain't. That's when he off, Yeah, huh? if he ain't had a taste. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. You don't sit in the chair. You know what I'm saying? You got to check his. You got to you gotta make him blow before you cut your hair up. Man, yeah. You want him to blow something off. The, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever. What numbers you got to have when you blow? I don't even know. And you want it to be way <laughs> beyond that. When he, <laughs> when he way beyond the legal limit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I You know, because. Drinking and smoking, that's two different animals. Yeah. I can see somebody, like I said, smoking and cutting, but drinking? Oh man. Cause you gotta you're not even balanced. Yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know how you know Equilibrium I don't see how they, ain't even on point. Man. Yeah, I don't see how they do that. Me you either. gotta be cold to do that. Definitely. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So that's one of the things. Barbers, Shouldn't upcoming do. barbers, do not do it, man. It ain't cool. Don't get think. high after you leave. Exactly when you done after you done made you a nice amount of money. Exactly, you know what I'm saying. Then go blow something. You gonna feel a little better. Exactly. Go get you a drink. You know what I'm saying. You know, in in that type of you know, uh, way. Don't 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 come in the shop high. You know, smelling the barber. Like yeah, the customers gonna smell exactly. the weed on your fingertips. Exactly. Don't and they and that's the funny part. You'll think that they don't smell that. Like, you, oh, they you don't understand. Gonna all that is, you smell all that. Yeah, they're going to, especially if they don't smoke. Mm -hmm. And people got a tendency that smoke to think that nobody knows that they high. <laughs> In the world, no. <laughs> Everybody knows you high, especially somebody that don't get high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You They going to look right at you and be like, oh, this nigga high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and nobody wants to, you know what I'm saying? Somebody cutting their hair yeah. high. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Or they don't want to walk in the shop. And smell weed that could throw people off. They might right. change their mind once they walk in the door. Right, like all oh, these because they, they think yeah they high. Here. No, they you high. Yeah, but you got some people that smoke in the shop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. crazy. That's they what be, I mean. They, yeah, they smoke in the shop. People be passing a little. I, I I can't, but that's crazy. No, that ain't sitting around. I didn't seen. I ain't never been in a shop like that. But I didn't seen like people on videos and you know they sit in the shop and be passing blunts to the dude in the chair to the. Yeah, the nah. whole shop just clouded up. Yeah, no. Nah. Even even where it's legal to smoke. That's what I'm saying. Even in Colorado and California, you see what I'm saying? Where it's legal, like, you know, because people be, you know, it's rec you know, recreational yeah. uh, uh, weed you, out there. Yeah. yeah. You, you So, you know, even where it's legal, it still ain't a good idea. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It's not professional. No, nah, it's definitely not. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Mean? But that's funny, though, because it's, it's, this, that's where the world going. That's mm -hmm. where the world going. You know what I'm saying? They want everybody you, high. Yeah, you go. Down. Yeah, you gonna walk into. You gonna be walking in the business just like, you know, people smoke cigarettes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. That's just what they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how <coughs> weed is. You know, that's where it's going. You know what I'm saying? They finna. Uh, it's finna be legal here. You know what I'm saying? Next year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, people gonna love that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's weird because I you know. We be going to Colorado and just walking around. You know what I'm saying? Smell you weed just, everywhere. Yeah, you are just you could just be walking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, going in the grocery store, you gonna smell people mm -hmm. outside smoking. You know what I'm saying? Just like you would, you know, people smoking mm -hmm. cigarettes. So, but you know, that still doesn't you know what I'm saying take away the fact that nobody wants to know that they barber is high. high exactly. You know what I'm saying? While they getting a the haircut, so man, barbers. Upcoming barbers, older barbers, y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all hot <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? Coming, but the the youngsters coming up, man, get high after you after you leave the shop. It's man. so much better. Yeah, after you leave the shop, especially you've been working all day, you can finally go relax at the end. Mm hmm. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, because yeah. that don't make no sense. Mm hmm. I don't want no high cut. And then I don't know, man. Like. I don't know. Like, I was going to get in with the female barber thing again. Like, with the, you know, being in the shop, how they could be 
a good asset and they can mess up the shop too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How they mess it up? They could mess it up because of dudes be catching feelings. About who? The Them. female barber? Yeah. Try to holler at the female barber? Yeah, but same but you can like like you know, dudes are there, they got they'll like that what we just talked about when niggas be trying to show out when they come in. Mm-hmm. That happens when they just come in. But what happens when you got something that's nice that's just in the shop? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They showing out the whole time. Bro, it be killing. Like, if I see it, it kills me. It just makes me just do, like, that That type of stuff make me, like, zone in like this. And then just, like, like I want to just walk off somewhere. Like, man, y'all niggas can have that over there. Do that. Y'all all could keep doing this right here. I'm going to go over here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just like everybody when, performing for the. I, don't, I wouldn't say one everybody. Barber, I wouldn't there's say. one female barber. And there, what? Three barbers going crazy? Or it's four female barbers? What they doing? I wouldn't say they all going crazy at the same time, but it's just it's everybody there. doing their individual. Yeah, yeah. Everybody trying to, you know, what I'm saying, put their bid in. Yeah, without yeah. putting their bid in. Right. Yeah, yeah. They might as well just put their. That's in. what I was just about but to say. Be, but just see, put your bid in. Yeah, you know, cause just you, do it. <laughs> yeah, because you really playing yourself exactly. Because like you gonna just keep doing it in front of her and you yeah. killing yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what that's what guys need to realize. Anyway, is that. This what this you know, everything I everything I talk about right now on this podcast I used to talk about in, in the barbershop. Yeah, and this you know this is what I used to tell people. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? No matter what you think, you know what I'm saying. You not choosing the woman; she choosing you. No matter what you think, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. She gotta let you. Holla at her. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you can play yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could talk your way out the box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Easy too. Because she already, she already been and looked at you. And she already know, you know what I'm saying, if she going, you know what I'm saying, fuck with you or not. You know what I'm saying? She already been checking you out. You know what I'm saying? She already, you know, but. You can slide up on there and your breath stink. Mm-hmm. Then she like, oh no, nah. knock some points off. I ain't, <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? This nigga stink. You know what I'm saying? You can slide up on it. You ain't took it bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you can when you clowning, you know what I'm saying? You can clown your way <laughs> out of it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Looking so like a clown, right? So when you sitting there and you doing that kind of stuff, you really plan yourself. You know what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying? Cause she already know if she gonna fuck with you or not. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing that you doing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? The best game is just being yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you think you coming up with corny lines, you know what I'm saying? Baby, you been running on my mind all day. For real. You know what I'm saying? Dude, <laughs> what's your sign? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you like burritos? <laughs> Me too. I be cooking them. Ain't none of that. For real. That's, new. Ain't none of that new. None of that. You playing yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You playing yourself, but shit, the way the way society is now, you know what I'm saying? I don't even shit. You ain't gotta do shit, really. With these with these girls. Yeah, you know for what real. I'm saying? It's just Yeah. Yeah, it ain't even no uh I ain't gonna lie, since I was in middle school. I ain't never really had to holler at a female. Yeah, I mean, you got to holler at them because you got to talk. Yeah, but I ain't never really like, like, I don't know. You could tell dudes who always had to try to show out or something their whole life mm-hmm. to get females. I ain't never had to do none of that. I always had to, if I said something, every time I tried to do some stuff that I thought I was supposed to do, that I saw other niggas do, I looked dumb and played myself every time. Mm-hmm. Every time when I was like, man, because I always felt like I was kind of like shy from, you know what I mean? But every time when I talked to a girl, I could talk to her. But I'd be like, man. Man, I'm finna go holler at this girl in the mall. And I don't even do that. So as soon as I walk up on some girl in the mall, like, hey, what's up? And try to say something dumb that I don't even, that ain't me. She always look at me and say something stupid and I look dumb and walk off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, you gotta, if you, if you that see. That ain't how I, 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 that just ain't me. Yeah, but if you see, if you see somebody, you know what I'm saying, that you interested in, that you want to talk to, you know what I'm saying? You, it ain't nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying? Speaking, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta, cause all you know, all women ain't gonna just sit there. Even if they feeling you, they not gonna, 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? Come out and, and talk to you. Nah, you're right, because I know I done missed out on a lot yeah, of badness. Right, they not going to do that. <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hollering at them, you know, in a way that you think you got game and you coming up with all these pimp lines, you know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Just speaking. And just being you. Introducing yourself, you know what I'm saying? Being you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I mean. That's all you got to do. But you got to have some form, you know what I'm saying, an introduction. Or she might not even been paying attention to your ass. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So in the only way to, if you really like her, you know what I'm saying, or you really want to get to know her or whatever, is to say something to her. Yeah, so if that's something that you, uh, that you interested in, you know, you got to have some type of. Some type of introduction, but you ain't gotta be a clown. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you ain't gotta be. <clears> a that's clown. what I do though. Every time I thought about it too hard, like yeah. man, what up, girl? What's your name? <laughs> Looking stupid. Mm -hmm. That ain't even me. <laughs> mm -hmm. That ain't even how I get out. Yeah, but, but you're right though, because I know when I met when I met my baby mama though, I had said something to her. She kind of like threw me off. Mm -hmm. But now look. It's over with, like <laughs> two babies later. <laughs> two babies later, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it be. Yeah. So yeah, we just trying to uh, like I said, the barbers. You know what I'm saying? The up and coming barbers, because you know the barber industry is is blowing up now. Yeah, major. You know what I'm saying? So for real, we just trying to help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little advice. You know what I'm saying? A little barber etiquette. That's really what the barber client privilege is about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna start, you're gonna start seeing a lot of episodes, you know what I'm saying? A barber client privilege. Because you gonna you get to what the barber client privilege is, you get to see, you see what I'm saying, the communication, the privilege, you know what I'm saying, to watch the barber interact, you know what I'm saying? With his client, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying the things, <coughs> the things that they talk about that you not that you wouldn't hear, you know what I'm saying because, you know, what's said in the shop stays in the shop, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So, but we bringing you, you know what I'm saying, barber client privilege, so to give you a little insight, you know what I'm saying, and hopefully it can help you be, you know what I'm saying, a better barber because it's more to being a barber than just having, you know what I'm saying, a decent haircut. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure your station is clean. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And neat. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, one thing that used to kill me is other barbers letting people, customers, sit in my chair yeah. when I ain't there. Yeah. I wouldn't let nobody sit in nobody's chair, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just, you know, that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Because somebody can be sitting in a chair you got cords hanging, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Somebody can hit a cord, knock your clippers down, break the teeth. We know how clippers are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You break the teeth, you got to go buy you some whole new guards. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even about the money, though. I mean, it is. It is, you but ain't at the same to... time, it's like, what if I'm coming in and I'm getting right to work? Right, but you don't, you, don't want your, you don't want your stuff broke. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. You, you know ain't even mean? know they done broke your whole... Right, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody just sitting in your chair, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because the chairs, you know, you can easily break the hydraulic pump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 any business, you know what I'm saying, it costs to do business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to always, you know what I'm saying, protect your investment. You know what I mean? And, you know, nobody sitting in your chair, nobody messing with your stuff at your station, you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, at the top of the list of, of barber etiquette. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know. Messing with your tools. Right. Right. Another thing, too. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta have a clean cape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't be yeah. putting a dirty cape, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the barbers because you got, I mean, on your customers because you got little dudes that be coming in. Snotty noses, little mm -hmm. kids crying because they don't want a haircut. All over. Slobbing, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying? People sneezing, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So you at least got to try to wash that boy once a week. You got to spray it off, you know what I'm saying, with the disinfectant. 
You know what I'm saying? That's another thing too. You you gotta always have your clippers clean. Yep. You gotta spray your clippers. You gotta use the barber side. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you neck know neck strips. Yeah, everything. Always use the neck strips. Yeah, you know you gotta always you gotta you know you, you know and one sanitation. Thing I, like, one thing I like you know how a lot of people use a brush when they when they cutting. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't do that because most brushes you can't even clean them. Right. So they be using the same brush over and over and over and over, and that's disgusting. Right. So that's why I just use a comb because you know the comb go inside the barber side. Right. After every cut. You right. Know what I mean, well, so, you can spray the brush though. Yeah. See, that's why you. But spray then the brush gonna be wet. Nah, you know. I mean, you got you can spray it and you gotta let it dry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, but I know they what you're saying. That, but see though. the brush, right? But see the brush when you brush it. You know what I'm saying? It give you a different, a different look. Yeah, when you when you cut, especially it. when you fading. Yeah, it gets yeah. different. So I understand why you know what I'm saying they use the brush versus the comb. Cause I used mm-hmm. to use the comb all the time too, but then I started using the brush too. You know what I'm saying? So it's a it's different when you you know you getting that fade in there. But the best thing to do, you got to spray that boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to always spray it with the disinfectant. You know what I'm saying? Sanitation, that's like number one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying in the barber shop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't know. <clears throat> That uh, with the razors, you know what I'm saying? You only supposed to use one the razor one time per client. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you're yeah. supposed to throw that boy away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a there's a proper way to dispose of the razors too. You know what I'm saying? Because of diseases and, and, and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. You know, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Being a barber, man, you got to, you know, etiquette. You know what I'm saying? If you can cut good, that's a plus. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have that etiquette, man. Take care of your work area. Take care of your work area. Take care of yourself, your hygiene. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be decent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to trust you if you ain't groomed up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If your hygiene ain't right, you know what I'm saying? Because you really you you really giving people, you know what I'm saying, confidence, uh, you know, uh, you know, when they leave, you know what I'm saying? Because they got a nice haircut, you know what I'm saying? They presentation, you know what I'm saying? So if your presentation ain't good, you know what I'm saying? How can you, you know what I'm saying, make sure somebody else is right? You know what I'm saying? If you sitting up here cutting somebody's hair, you know, and your breath stank, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that ain't a good look. Mm-hmm. So, you know, your hygiene. You using the bathroom, come back, your hands smell like butt cheeks. Right, you know what I'm saying? You know, wash your hands. Your hygiene, man. You know what I'm saying? All of that. And don't be smoking after every cut. Man. Some I hate people, that, bro. Yeah, I hate some when people, people do. do that. Yeah, some people do. If you they, was my if anybody was my barber and they was smoking, he wouldn't be my barber no more. Cause I hate cigarettes. Yeah, but so, so if you smoke after every cut, because I done seen people, man, sit down for a whole hour. And then the barber be like, all right, man, let me go ahead and smoke this cigarette. Mm-hmm. Man, put the man in the chair and start his hair, and then you can, when you got some time, then go smoke a cigarette. You don't have to go smoke no cigarette. No, they got a habit. That's why. That's, but that's I, what they, I, yeah, they, that's what they do, though. Yeah. I, that's what they do. I don't think they should do that neither. After they every got, head, though? Yeah, that's what they do. They got that's people crazy. waiting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, and they, while they cutting, they thinking about that cigarette. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, then maybe, they walk in the door smelling like straight cigarettes. Right. So maybe what you should say is maybe the client should consider. You know what I'm saying? You know, that his barber smoked, you know what I'm saying, before, well, you know, see if this the barber smoked before he decide to make him his barber. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the barber, if they smoke cigarettes, that's what they going to do. Yeah. They going to smoke after every cut. Ain't no way around that. Yeah. So if you if you a customer. You know how many people come to me, though? That are complaining about their last barbers and be saying that? Right. No, I, be, I know. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why the client need to consider that before they make this guy their barber. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't smoke, and you you know what I'm saying, and you you can't stand that, you know what I'm saying, then you shouldn't have a barber that smoke because yeah. they every everybody that I know, every barber that I know that smoke, you know what I'm saying, that's what they do every time. No matter if they cut, no matter how long the customer been sitting there, yeah. they gonna go outside and have them a cigarette. They got to. You it's crazy. Saying? Yeah, they got that habit. Yeah. They got a habit. That's why. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never smoked a cigarette a day in my life. Me either. Never will. Nah. It, it don't do nothing my for mama you. I'm a chain smoke. I can't. I'm telling you, should tell you stories of me slapping them out of her hand. 
Yeah, it don't, it don't do nothing <laughs> for you. <I'm laughs> it don't do nothing for you. So, man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I hope that uh, what y'all heard today, you got anything else you want to talk about? Nah, that's about it. Okay. Well, I hope what y'all heard today, you know what I'm saying? I hope this helped the barbers, the clients, you know what I'm saying? I hope it helped the barbers be better barbers. You know what I'm saying? I hope it gave the clients a little insight on which barbers to pick and what be going on, you know what I'm saying, when y'all leave the shop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the clients, y'all keep y'all business to y'all self too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know what I'm saying, you got a dependable barber, you know what I'm saying, that you know he ain't on that and you genuinely, you know what I'm saying, need some of that advice because you are privy to barber client privilege mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and you got some barbers that's gonna you know hold it down and keep it 100 you know what i'm saying but like the barber son was saying you got a lot of barbers they just gossip like women too mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so hopefully we help some barbers understand the proper etiquette you know what i'm saying and help the clients when it comes to choosing you know what i'm saying the person that's going to be their barber because there's more to being a barber than just a good haircut. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm Pisces. That's the barber son. This is episode two. We out of here. We out of here. Peace. That's it. I forgot what else I was supposed to say then at the end. Oh yeah. Follow us on Instagram at cutting line. Follow me on Instagram at the barber son and check us out on Facebook at cutting line and we out.